Hi, it's Mr. Anderson, and I wanted to give you some reflections on the 2013 AP Biology exam. I don't want to talk about the exam itself. I thought the questions were amazing and they were tied to the curriculum, but this video is mostly designed for students that took the test in 2013 and may take it in 2014. And I want to talk about scores and score distribution, because a lot of people measure how difficult an AP class is by how easy it is to get a 5. And it used to be that the AP Biology test was easier. I think of 34 tests, it was the 25th easiest to get a 5. And now it's the hardest, so it's moved to number 1. So I want to look at the score distribution. And so if we look at the distribution from 2008 to 2012, these are the numbers of students percent who got 1s and then 5s and 4s, 3s, and 2s. And so if I play this forward, again, from 2008 now to 2013, we're going to see a big change in 2013. And so we see a huge decrease in the number of 1s, an increase in 3s and 4s, and a big decrease in the number of 5s. And this has a lot of people upset. And even the College Board wrote out a good um, description of this and said, this is the new gold standard. If you want to get a 5, this is how well you're going to have to understand that content. Um, but for a lot of students, this is disconcerting because they see the only way you can be successful in an AP class is to get a 5. And there's a lot of people this year that didn't get a 5 that would have gotten it in the years past. And that's because, you know, a quarter of a million kids take it each year. And so it's not like between here and here, students got dumber <laughs> or smarter and got more threes. It's just that they changed the course, changed the test and they change the course distribution. And so if we look at on the left, this is the distribution in 2012, and on the right, this is it in 2013. And you can see that it looks more like a bell-shaped curve in 2013 than it did in 2012. And so if we put people to that, in other words, if this was 100 average AP Biology students, this is what it looked like in 2012. And now let me move those students to where I think they might be in 2013 and we get a distribution that looks something like that. And so that's really, let me show you who I designed this video for. It's for these students, and so let me move that back down to 2012. These students right up here, these students that in any other year would have gotten a 5 on the AP exam, and in this year they got a 4 or maybe got a 3. And so that's a lot. In 100 students, that's 15 students that normally would have gotten a 5, and this year they got a 4 or a 3. And that's who this video is designed for. I'm just trying to make sure that you know that you didn't do bad on the exam or your teacher didn't do bad on the exam. It's just that they've changed the exam. It's a different exam than it has been in the past. And it'll hopefully stay this way. In other words, the difficulty is going to be the same. But if you judge your success in the class on getting a 5, it was way harder to get one. And I could put names on my students, right? I know who these students are in my own class. And so if you want to get a 5, it's really difficult now. You really have to understand the content, but more importantly, you have to understand the science practices. You have to be a critical reader. You have to practice. There's a lot of lessons, I think, that we have for 2014 that we learned in 2013. And if AP Chemistry, I'm sure they're going to see a similar distribution this year as well. And so there are lessons here. And so what's the future going to look like? Well, I think this looks a lot, if you teach AP Biology, this looks a lot like a Hardy-Weinberg distribution. So we were at Hardy-Weinberg equilibrium for a long period of time, and this is almost like genetic drift, so something happened. And so if we were to say what's going to happen in biology, it would remain the same. What's going to happen um, in life, it would remain the same. But what's going to happen in AP Biology? Well, I hope they keep that gold standard the same and that students can get better and better at understanding this new curriculum, and we as teachers can get better at making sure that they understand it. But if you really feel like you did poorly, make sure that you understand that it was a huge gray distribution reorganization. And if your parents don't get that, or your teacher doesn't get that, or your administrators don't get that, please share this video with them so they understand it's a different test. Now we know what the gold standard is, and we can move forward from this point, but I hope that was helpful.